Google Meet is a powerful video conferencing tool, but it can also be used as an effective and efficient way to create instructional videos. In this tutorial, I'm going to provide three quick steps so that you can get up and running creating your own instructional videos using Meet. The first step is to create a Google Meet. Now, I'm going to show how to do that directly from meet.google.com, but if there's another way that you are comfortable doing it, either through a calendar invite or through Google Classroom directly, feel free to do it however you're most comfortable. So once you create a meeting, you're going to give it a nickname or if it's automatically generated for you, you're going to get into your meeting. So once you've created your meeting, you're going to join now and you're actually not going to invite anyone else in. So it's not an actual meeting where you're going to uh, connect with anybody, you're just gonna use this as a platform to create your instructional video. Now that I'm into my video, I'm up to step two and step two is to present my screen. So what you're going to wanna do is in another tab, or in another window, you're going to want to start your presentation or your whiteboarding app or whatever you're going to use to demonstrate in your video, you're going to want that opened up. So if you can see here in this other tab, I have a presentation that could be used in an instructional video. So I have that ready to go. So what I'm going to do now is on the bottom right, you're going to see a button that says present now. So there's a couple options there. There actually may be another one rolling out pretty soon, uh, but for the most part, you're gonna pick uh, one of these display options. I'm going to choose window, and I will click on the window of my application right now. And this is important. If you don't click on it and see the blue square around the outside, it's not going to work. The share button won't light up. So make sure that you click on the actual window you want to share. Click the blue share button. And now you are sharing your screen uh, with Google Meet. And this is essentially how you create a screencast. So right now, uh, Google Meet is uh, displaying this window. Now the last step, step three, is to record it. So now that you're presenting, you click on the three dot icon to the bottom right, scroll up to record meeting, Except ask for consent, doesn't really matter, you're the only person here. And now you are recording. Okay, so once you see this light up uh, red, that means you start. So right now I'm recording in Google Meet. I can click over to my slides and now I can go through my presentation, my slideshow, my, like I said, my whiteboarding, if it's science or math or something that along those lines. But whatever you wanna create in your video, you just say, it does a voiceover, it records it for you and it will even record your, uh, your video feed uh, on the right side. So once you're done with your recording, you're gonna go back to the Google Meet click on the bottom right and click stop recording. At this point, it's going to automatically save your video. You can see where it says the recording will be saved to Google Drive. In your drive, you will now have, if it's not already there, a folder called Meet Recordings. This will go into that Meet Recordings folder. From there, you can move where it is, you can share it out with your class, whatever you wanna do with it from there. You can even put it onto YouTube or a channel that, that you've created for instructional videos. So to quickly recap, step one is to create your Google Meet. Step two, share your screen. Step three, record the meeting. Then it will automatically generate a file in your drive. I hope that helped. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out anytime. My contact information is displayed in the notes below.